all the shrines are different here in Japan. Some are for good luck, good fortune, um, health and wealth. This shrine is mostly to cure or free you from diseases. So it looks like these rocks were meant for gods. What? Oh, inside? Oh, this is beautiful, man. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful. Amazing, we finally made it here after hours of hiking and exploring the caves. celebrated and respected, the Oiwa Shrine on Mount Oiwa in Kyoto's Fukukusa region now lies in a state of neglect and disrepair. Its beginnings can be traced to the displacement of the Ki clan by the Hata clan in the year 711, leading them to establish their sacred site on Mount Oiwa. The shrine's historical importance was further cemented in the early 17th century, when its grass was used to feed the horses of Iesu Tokugawa the inaugural shogun of the Tokugawa era. During his Kyoto visit, the shrine is renowned for its reputed healing abilities, particularly for severe illnesses. The Oiwa shrine fame was further enhanced by Domoto Insho, a notable Kyoto artist. He expressed his gratitude to the shrine by donating two large sculpted stone torii gates, the first in 1952, praying for his ailing mother's health, and the second in 1963, posthumously honoring her. However, the Onin War from 1467 to 1477 left the shrine damaged, which destroyed the original structure and its historical records. And it wasn't until the late 19th century in the Meiji period that the Kubo family undertook its restoration, but eventually ceased upkeep by 2010 due to the personal tragedies and the retirement of their appointed head priests. By 2014, the shrine was forsaken marking the beginning of a steady deterioration. Today, it stands as a poignant reminder of the difficulties historical landmarks face preserving their heritage, with local lore now shrouding it in an aura of mystery and tales of being haunted. Intriguingly, my friend later introduced me to another enigmatic site, Japan's most mysterious shrine. Abandoned and submerged, it lies hidden deep underground evoking a sense of intrigue and mystery. What's up Ronin fam? So right now we're driving through the road to get to this shrine and I've never driven through a road like this before. We're surrounded by bamboos and this is what's very special about the place. And we got my friend here, professional driver. <laughs> Ooh. <Yeah. laughs> I think that's the entrance. Oh, I love how abandoned looking it looks. Now the road to get this place is pretty rough. Definitely need a good car that, got, that goes off-roading. Well, we found parking. And look at this view over here. Now this is so amazing. We're right next to a lookout spot. And we can see Kyoto right in front of us. Now this is Kyoto's hidden abandoned shrine. Also forgot to introduce my friend here. His name is Saho. Yeah. Uh, Instagram. Uh, right here, it popped up right there. Go check him out. His link will be down in the description. Uh, he's also very famous on Twitter. Twitter famous. Twitter, uh, <laughs> My Twitter is really bad compared to him. He gets so many people 
looking at his incredible photos. So you have to check him out. And he's gonna be showing us this place today. And I'm really excited about it. I've seen this place online a few times already and I've always wondered where it is. Kyoto is famous for its shrines, especially the Fox Shrine. And this kind of reminds me of it, but this one's a lot cooler in my opinion because it's abandoned. Of course, anything abandoned is a lot cooler. Thank you. <laughs> it's not really abandoned though, it's just dilapidated. You can tell that, you know, they really haven't, haven't really been maintaining it. What's this? Nani? Oh. Mishinari Seso Todo Kumiya. Oh. Okay. Osaka and Clean. Oh. Ah. I see. Seso Clean. Seso Clean. Oh, okay. Kim. Ah, and this is the name. Yeah, name, name of the shrine. Oiwa Jinta. Oh, it's such a hot day right now. You're definitely gonna be seeing me sweat so much. So my friend says that this shrine, you know, shrines have, you know, all shrines are different here in Japan. Some are for good luck, good fortune, um, health and wealth. This shrine is mostly to cure or free you from diseases. Pretty interesting. So maybe if you were having a disease or if you were very sick, you would come here to the shrine, you would hike it, and then pray. Oh, I'm not sure how long it is gonna take to explore this place. Yeah, you can see some cracks here. These little things are kind of cool. They remind me of bird houses, but when you take a closer look, you know, there's probably some light bulbs inside there to light up the way at night. I'll tell you what though, it feels a lot cooler and a lot more peaceful exploring a place like this when it's abandoned. Right, so it looks like these rocks were meant for gods. Definitely looks like a place where you would pray. And Saho just told me that there's about 8 million gods here in Japan. Maybe this one right here in the middle was the most powerful god. I should never be exploring here during the summer. That's just a baby spider. These type of spiders can grow the size of like a human's hand. I'm seeing a lot of wasps. I'm sure there's a bunch of nests in these buildings now. Yeah, it's a beautiful stone carving. Let's take a look what's inside here. Look at that, we still got something here on the chalkboard. Oh my gosh, we hear a cat. Meow. Meow. Might be scared. Sounds like a kitty. Ghost. Ghost, <laughs> Ghost cat. <laughs> yeah. Ghost cat. Where the hell is it? Wanna rescue it? What? Oh. Inside? No. No. Huh? Wow, the cat's right in there. Yeah. Oh. Big cat. Adult cat. Cat house. Yeah. That's so nice. <laughs> it must climb the roof to get up to its home. Well, someone's taking care of the cat. Very old, a mill machine. That's a mill machine. Oh, that was for a mill. Oh, okay. I see. So that was on top of this thing. Beans. Beans. Oh. Mm. Ah, I see. Oh, okay. Powder, powder, powder. Oh, wow. Oh, cool, cool. Hey, look. Look at this. It's a giant centipede. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So this lady just came down here. I guess she's taking care of the cats whenever she visits the shrine. These cats are lucky to have her. You know, I was thinking the same thing. I was hoping they have food for the cats and five minutes later this lady shows up with food. 
I'm very happy about that. Okay, so it looks like this is where you would cleanse your hands. There used to be running water. And right over here is where you would, you know, drop some coins and make a wish. It's nice that even though it's dilapidated and no one really comes here anymore, it's still set up like a shrine where if you did want to come here to pray, you were able to still do it. And I think it's up for people to just tidy it up or fix it themselves. I think we should start moving. We'll be able to see more shrines. The old lady is walking down there now too. Hey, maybe we'll see more cats. Oh. Yeah, too many. Whoa. Mosquito. Mosquito. Oh Whoa. my god. Oh no. Mosquito world. Yeah, mosquito world for sure. Oh, mosquito. <laughs> mosquito. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get hundreds of mosquito bites now. Yes, and we, you know, we forgot to buy bug spray. I forgot that it's summertime. You know, there's things to be more careful of when you explore during the summer. Hey, look, we have some of the the Tory pillars. Oh, this is a nice angle of the shrine we just explored. Oh yeah. Wow, this broke. Mm. Uh, six year oh, now six year back. Oh, okay. I see. Big Storm must have caused most of the damage here. And yeah, there's like the thing that used to be attached to it right up there. It's now down here. This is pretty neat. I like the frog over there. Grandmother? Yeah. I can't believe she hiked down here. And yeah, we're gonna be seeing that lady again. And here's another shrine meant for another Japanese god. Wow, the carving on it looks super cool. Wow, this one is a really cool shrine. Could be the best one. Usually, you know, the best shrines take a while to get to. Just right there. So let's start heading down these steps. Take your steps off. I think there's running water. The only time I've seen these were like in Kyoto. Holy shit! What the fuck? Look at that. What's that? What's that? Honey. A murder hornet. B. B B. B B B B B. No, 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 those are dangerous, right? Those are like murder <laughs> hornets. Okay, we have to pass by them slowly. That was huge. I don't know if I caught that on camera, guys, but here's a picture of the hornet I just saw. Freaking massive. It was just flying around here. Oh. 
Oh, this is beautiful, man. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful. Mosquitoes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> they love me. Yes, yes, yes. Love. Yes, sir. It's true, like, mosquitoes <laughs> tend to bite me so much. It must be like, my blood must taste so good to them. <laughs> yeah, this is unbelievable. Uh, creator. That's the creator. Yes, creator. That's the name? Yes. Whoa! Oh, maybe, uh, more? No, 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 no. no. Last, last. Oh, end, end, end. So go, so go. Run. Yes, yes. <laughs> There's too come many on, mosquitoes here. I hate being here right now. Literally, I just swapped like 10 mosquitoes biting my leg. <laughs> <laughs> Besides the mosquitoes, though, I'm just amazed by this structure right here. Look how beautiful that carving is. This is probably my favorite shrine in Japan. Oh, we're literally walking through hundreds of mosquitoes right now. So many mosquitoes. Wow. That's for praying. And your head. What? So I think Saho said that whenever you prayed here, you know, you would go underneath this waterfall. This tiny little waterfall to pray. Oh, there's hundreds of mosquitoes. Oh, I gotta get out. <laughs> so he says, a place of aesthetic practices. Oh, I see. So this is the next day, guys. And we're about to do a crazy mission. Nice, nice color for a photo. Huh, it's perfectly. Hello. 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 Right now, I'm just changing. I'm ready to explore this cave. Me and Saho, he's holding the camera right now. We're going deep underground. Check it out. I spent fifty dollars just to get these pants for this one-time use. I'm probably gonna ship it home though. Yeah, I'm like all decked out. Pretty cool. Also, I have the perfect pants for these. These are my exploring pants. You probably see me wear them a lot of the time, but wow, they they're meant for like stuff like this. I gotta attach right on there. So I'm pumped, I'm excited. Let's go to the cave. today. So this cave was man-made during World War II. Amazing. And the temperature here is really cold, which is great. I'm tired of the heat. Please, this cave is a nice escape from the summer heat. Oh my gosh. You can see some holes on the walls here. Is that where all the bats live? What's this? It's a toy. It's a toy doing down here. Rockets. Yeah. Okay. Let's see this. Let's take a closer look. 
Yeah, it's a rocket. Looks like it's right by some animal hole. Was a kid playing down here at one point? Oh, there used to be a cart here long ago. I see. Interesting. So, the water that we're stepping on, I thought it came from the ceiling. Maybe from like the rain or a river. But it actually came from underground. And this is why I'm wearing a helmet. Because you never know when the rocks will just fall on you. Let me see the year on this. I don't see the date. This is really cool. It's in Japanese too. If you're an expert in Coke bottles, let me know when, what year this was. Let me know what year you think this bottle is from. That's a really powerful flashlight. You don't even want to stare directly at it, but look at that. He's lighting up the entire cave with it. We can probably cook something with that. Hot. So hot. Oh wow, that is extremely hot. <laughs> we can cook an egg with it. Isn't this the most rusty vehicle you've ever seen? It's just been here in the cave for so many years. Look at the state of the inside. The dashboard is gone. Wow, the steering wheel is... <laughs> It's obliterated. Hey, here's some more Coca-Cola bottles. And by the looks of it, someone made a little campfire. Mosaic. 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 Yeah, the name? Not the name, not the name. Movie. Movie? Oh. Mm. <laughs> yeah, right now there's no signal down here, so we can't even use translation. But if you happen to know what this says in Japanese, just leave a comment down below. And so far I haven't been seeing any animal tracks on the floor. Yeah. Dang, yep, that fell. So, the film is, the footage is much smoother now. I attach my camera to the gimbal. I'm not sure if I should be holding a gimbal as I'm walking through water. <laughs> I'll try my best to not fall. It's over here. Well, so back in the day too, right after they made this cave, they actually took good use of it and they would have festivals down here.
It's gonna protect you from that. <laughs> Seems okay. dangerous. Okay. 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 So for 200 yen, you have a chance to play this game where you would have a ball, ball. and you would try to get ball. in the basket. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hiking and exploring the caves. Here we are. taking our time taking as much photos taking as much video and documenting this experience for you guys so it's just doing a really cool flashlight effect with the rippling water so magical This thing is like really mysterious just being here. Definitely my favorite shrine of all in Japan.
cast so laid back. 